Hi YouTube family. So today I'm doing a video on the top 10 natural hair must-haves. These are stuff that I use almost every day. I, each of these items I use at least twice per week. I know that there are lots of naturals out there, especially newly naturals who don't know what to do with their hair, don't know what to use. And so this is going to help you guys a little bit with some of the stuff that you should have as a natural or as a transition in natural so the first thing i'm going to start with start with whatever is it. no let me start with the small stuff hair pins and i know this is probably a, an essential for every woman every woman wants hair pins but as a natural i mean for styling it makes your life so much easier like right now <coughs> all over this is just pins hair pins um, these are goodie pins. I suggest to get another brand because goodie pins are they're good because they don't they don't tug on your hair, but they don't they don't hold the hair very well. So anyway, next one. These claw clips. Um, these are necessary for um, for parting your hair when you're doing um, detangling when you're detangling with it with your conditioner. Um, it's for me it's important for me to section my hair because i really want to go through it i really don't most naturals don't comb through the hair without sectioning so these are really good for holding the sections comb clips these are a must have for me i cannot do without these because they help so much with styling um, with doing fro hawks, with doing um, some pin up styles, depending on which ones, um, to do my pompadour. Um, these are really helpful. These are goodie brands. I think these are Annie's. The goodies are a lot better, obviously. They're stronger. I've had these around the same time, and these start breaking like that. So, yeah, these are a must have for natural. Bands. Um, I think these are Annie's. Um, you can get them in the pharmacies or beauty suppliers. But um, yeah, these are your go-to headbands for um, for puffs. Every natural knows that that's a go-to hairstyle. When all else fails, just put it in a puff. And so these are really, really good for that. They're good for doing buns as well. Almost. And as long as you have some length, you'll want to have this. Even if you don't have, if you have a TWA, you still want to maybe push back the front, you can use these too. A wide tooth comb. Um, I really don't use anything else when I detangle. I use a brush maybe for my edges sometimes, but um, I use this for detangling with my conditioner in. Um, I think this is goody as well. So, it, and it doesn't tug on my hair, it doesn't pull out my hair. This is a must have for all naturals. You have to have a, a wide tooth comb because the thin ones, the fine ones, they pull your hair out. Especially for my hair where my, um, my coils are really, really tight, I need something that is wide. Oh, this goes along with. Um, with my wide tooth comb too. I bought this in a beauty supply store. It worked very well when my hair was shorter, but as it got longer, it it, um, it became more difficult to just glide it through my hair. Um, but I still love it. I use it sometimes. Edge, edge tamer or um, whatever it is that you guys use to smooth your edges or you want to use to smooth your edges. Um, it just finishes the look. Whatever look it is that you're doing, something to tame the edges, finishes the look. And my favorite is Dark, Dark and Lovely Beautiful Beginnings Edge Tamer, which I told you guys is coming off the market, so stack up on this one. A satin bonnet. I actually have two of these. Um, it's really great because it's comfortable and it keeps my hair from drying out from the cotton pillowcases um, and the tugging that may happen throughout the night 
between the pillowcase and my hair. Um, so this is great. All naturals should have one of these. And if you don't even have one of these, have a satin scarf or something. You need to tie your head at night. All black women should act. You know what? All women should tie their hair at night. Because the, even women with looser curls or women with straight hair, that's Caucasian women, even them, some of them walk around with some dried up hair, some tired looking hair. And a lot of it is because they really don't carry it. And so this is one of the ways that you can really carry your hair and get good results from. Every woman should have, every black woman should have one of these. And yes, guys, black women tie their hair at night. So if you're with a black woman, just expect that. She's going to tie her head. She's going to put on a satin bonnet. Get over it. Shea butter. This is my favorite. Always, always, always have this. Um, I got this at Earth Elements for my Jamaican subscribers. Um, they have the best price and they give you more for, for that price than I've seen at other places. Um, yeah, Shea Butter is a must have for all naturals. I think it's very moisturizing. When my hair is feeling its driest, I turn to my Shea Butter. I use it basically almost every day. A water bottle, a spray bottle. Um, right now there's water in this. Sometimes I'll drop a little bit of glycerin in there. Um, but for everyday styles, sometimes when I want to just um, wet my hair just to give it a different look or whether I'm detangling and I want something, I want to use something that's quick and I can spray the water in my hair without going into the shower, without wetting my whole head. Um, I can use a spray bottle. It comes in handy so many ways. It's also good for um, refreshing wash and goes. So if you you did a wash and go the day before and you just want to spray some water in there and just rub your hands and refresh the look, a spray bottle is good for that. If you don't have like um, a curl wake up spray, is that what it's called? Yeah. If you don't have one of those, water will do just fine. Put some glycerin in there or whatever you want to put in there. The last thing is oils. Oils are must have. And I use these basically every day. I use oils. I use oils to seal in moisture after I've washed my hair. <coughs> I use it when I'm un untwisting my hair to give it that extra shine. Um, my favorite one right now is coconut oil, which has always been my favorite because I really, really, really love the scent. I also got this at Earth Elements. Um, I think this was about maybe four fifty for that price. Um, but I love coconut oil, I love the smell of it, and I love what it does to my hair. I get a lot of shine. My hair looks healthy when I use coconut oil. It's really the best to me. I also use olive oil, and I use jojoba oil, and I have some neem and black seed oil. And You just need to have some oils. Have some natural oils. Also, get some essential oils. See, I think I covered everything. Um, I know you guys are going to ask about my hair. This is basically a pin-up look. Very similar to the one that I posted recently. Except um, my hair is a little straighter because I blew it out last night. And I really didn't put anything, anything, any wet product on it. Or any liquids on it. So it, um, it, it didn't shrink just yet. So it looks a little different from the one that I did before, which I did wet my hair. So, um, but it's basically the same thing where I paint and yeah, the only difference is there's a part in the middle and the texture of my hair is a little different because I blew it out some more. And also, I know you guys are going to ask about my makeup. I don't wear makeup that often, but I felt like doing something different tonight. So, um, this makeup look I took from Vintage and Vintage or Tacky, um, I'll post a link to the video, um, 
it's just a remix of that very very same look that she did um, I had to remix it because of course I'm much darker than her and so the colors will look different on me but basically it's the same idea so you guys can watch a video for the tutorial for that you can follow me on Twitter Island Essence J A and you can follow me on Instagram Island Essence just Island Essence so that's it you guys bye